Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and if you're new here, I do Dollar Tree hauls and keto related videos. This keto related video is my one month update. Today, day I'm recording, just so happens to be Wednesday, April 10th and I started keto exactly one month ago today started on march 10th i started doing keto and intermittent fasting down below in the description box i'm going to put my instagram name if you'd like to follow me there because i do keto pics things that we're eating tricks that i'm doing and also do like family pics just other things like that and in the description box i'm also going to put some links of my favorite youtubers that i watch that have helped me figure out how to do intermittent fasting and keto so that it works for me of course there's going to be a disclaimer you know there is i'm not a doctor so don't take my advice don't do what i do unless you've spoke with yours to see if keto or intermittent fasting is a healthy way for you to lose weight so stick around i'm going to tell you the things that i've done i'm going to talk about how much i lost each week and give you my complete total i'm also going to show you one of our meals that we eat during the day I downloaded the app carb manager i plugged in all my measurements and all that good stuff and then it gave me my numbers to help me lose weight it gave me how many calories i needed to consume every day it gave me how many carbs it gave me how many grams of fat so it made it so much easier i've decided to combine intermittent fasting with keto and that gives me a smaller window to eat <sighs> I'm an eater, people. I could eat all day, every day, every second of the day from the morning as soon as I open my eyes till I'm in bed and still eating. So fasting gives me some control. So I have these windows here. So I know that I can eat in these windows and then the rest of the time I need to just stay away. I do intermittent fasting about five days a week. When I first started out, I started out slow. I started out with a 16 hour fast and an eight hour eating window. And I did that for several days. I worked up to an 18 hour a day fast with a six hour eating window. And I would only eat about two meals and no snacking because you do not want to spike your insulin. I worked up to 20 hour fast and only a four hour eating window and occasionally if i have a weight loss stall which does happen i'll throw in a 24 hour fast and i'll start losing the weight again and in that fast i still drink tons of water i do not drink any um, thing like coffee or tea i stay away from those things Okay, so it's around nine in the morning. I've got up, got dressed. I still need to do a lot of recording and editing. I just wanna talk about today is my intermittent fasting day. So it is water for me until about two. And then my eating window is going to be from two till six today. I'll show you what I eat. But during a day, hey Quincy. I try to get in, these are about 20 ounces, so I try to get in five of these. That gives me 100 ounces a day. So through the week, I try to stick with strict keto, and that means I stay, I, I, I track everything, all of my macros, and stay under 20 grams of carbs. But on the weekends, I sort of do lazy keto, and all I do is track my macros in my carbs and nothing else. So again, it's Wednesday, I'm tracking everything. Okay, it is just a little after two. This is going to be my lunch today. Remember, if you watched any of my other videos, the one where I talk about what we ate in a day, this is just the shredded chicken. I make tons of chicken thighs at the first of the week, and that way we have the shredded chicken to make chicken salad and stuff with throughout the week. So it's about three-fourths of a cup of chicken thighs shredded and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. I cut up one pickle and go ahead and put that in there. I usually put some bacon, but Kerrigan ate the last of the bacon this morning. And then, so I don't have to use so much, and I like my chicken salad gooey, so I don't have to use so much mayonnaise. I put a little bit of pickle juice in there. I put pickle juice in everything. 
And then I mix this up, and then I'm also going to have some of the cheese. And this is just a cheese tray I pick up, um, cracker cut kind, and it's got the Colby Jack Swiss cheddar cheese and pepper jack. Colby Jack pepper jack Swiss cheddar, yeah. And I think none of them have carbs except for the Swiss cheese. So I'll have four pieces of cheese for some extra fat and then my chicken salad. So I'll show you what that looks like. And that's what it looks like all mixed up. I did put some of the Himalayan pink sea salt on top to fine grain just so that I could have some extra sodium. So this is going to be lunch for today. That reminds me, excuse the dishwasher making all the noise. I wanted a few things crunchy with my chicken salad, so I took a few of these and a few of these. These are the Wisps, and I got them at Walmart. They were under $3. This is the Cheddar Cheese Crisps, and they have the Parmesan Cheese Crisps, too. I like the Parmesan the best. They have another variety, but the other one has sugar added. These, let me see, are nothing but cheese. So I like these, and they're good to add to a meal. Last week, I cut out dairy and cheese and stuff like that, but this week, I'm back to eating them. So, I ate a few of these with my meal. So, during my eating window, I like to have a treat, and I make my own Starbucks pink drink. I ordered this off of Amazon because I can't find it anywhere here. I'll have this linked below. You get four boxes of this, and each box makes six pitchers. So that's a lot of Starbucks pink drink. What I do is I just pour it over ice. I brew it ahead of time so that I have it in the refrigerator and then I just pour it over ice. And then I'll add about a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And then you can add your keto friendly sweetener of choice. I add a little bit of swerve and then I just mix that up. So there it is, my Starbucks pink drink. I like mine a little strong. I don't add the extra water to it like they do at Starbucks. Um, even if I go to Starbucks and I get their um, passion, what is it, their passion tango tea or something like that, their pink drink, I'll tell them no water. So that's it. It's absolutely delicious and I feel like I'm getting a huge treat. And again, it's a Starbucks drink dupe for a fraction. I, I'm talking like mere pennies. So absolutely love this. So let's talk. Today is Wednesday, like I said, and on Wednesday, Briley has extracurricular activities. So while she's doing gymnastics for an hour, I just walk through downtown. It's gorgeous scenery, tons of sidewalks. It's usually not this busy, but everybody's getting off work, I guess. I'm not done dinner yet, but let me tell you what I did do. Just to prove to you guys, I'm not perfect and I'm still new at all this. I ate a Pop-Tart. I don't even like Pop-Tarts, but there's zero sweets in the house. And the only thing I could find was a Pop-Tart. So I scarfed down a Pop-Tart. The main thing about this is, just realize that one mistake like that doesn't ruin your whole keto journey or whatever plan you're doing. The point is just um, get back on your journey, whether it's keto, whether it's low carb, whether it's Adkins, whatever you're doing, it's not gonna ruin the whole thing. And just try to be serious about it. Everybody's gonna slip up every once in a while, but I'm trying to make this a journey that lasts forever. Here is the covered bridge I showed you guys that's on my walk. And this is what it looks like when you go through it. When I was young, I remember we used to still be able to drive across it. Here is like the sidewalk part where you can walk. But it's blocked off now. They're trying to keep it from deteriorating more so you can't walk. I mean, you can only walk over it. You can't drive over it anymore. So let's talk about dinner tonight. I am one of probably the last people on earth to get an air fryer. I was contacted by Kasori and they asked me if I would like to do a review on one. And of course I said yes because on keto I know how important it is for an air fryer. That's what everyone keeps telling me. So tonight we're going to do 
Parmesan crusted pork chops. I found this online. This is not my recipe. I did tweak it though. So I just took my pork rinds for my breading and I just put them in here and chopped them up really fine. I added salt. We're not huge pepper fans. And I added Parmesan cheese. Here you go. This is the one from Aldi. And I just added the pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna take my pork chops and I'm gonna dip them in my egg wash. And this is just egg, that's all that's in here. Then I'm gonna coat them on both sides with these crumbs. Can you see how fine they are? And then I'm gonna put these in the air fryer and see how easy it is. Just turn it on, all your panels are right here. Everything is perfect, it's just touch screen. You hit your time and temp, I want it up to 400. And I do want it to cook for 15 minutes and then you just hit the start button and it starts up and you can hear it. This is a game changer in my life. Pork chops in 15 minutes and I don't have to worry about a horrible mess. I am so impressed. Can't wait to do more stuff with this. If you guys are interested, there is a huge sale today on the 15th and I will have that linked below. If you have not got an air fryer at this point, you need to. I am loving this. You guys can still hear this sizzling. Oh, and there's the steam. It smells amazing. I'm going to take one out and cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. Here's Kerrigan's plate. She's just having some steamed broccoli with Kerrygold butter. There's our big brick of butter. And here's my messy plate because this is the one I cut open to show you guys. But this is so, I don't think you can hear it, but it's so crispy and delicious. I am definitely in love with the Kasori air fryer. Number three, the baskets are dishwasher safe. What, the dishwasher safe? This is definitely my new favorite kitchen appliance. Okay, let's talk about my totals. So weight loss for the month of keto that I have been on is a total of 21 and a half pounds. I know some of you are gonna be saying like, that's not healthy, that's not good, you shouldn't lose that much weight, but my doctor is fine with this. And when you first start keto, you will lose a lot more weight at first. So the first week on keto, I lost 11 pounds. 11 pounds. I know that wasn't all fat, it was probably water weight. If you see the before and after pictures, you're gonna notice right here, I was retaining a ton of fluid. I was extremely puffy. So I did have a lot of weight in my face. <laughs> I think the first 11 pounds came right here. My second week on keto, I dropped five pounds, which had slowed down, but I was still okay with because in two weeks, I lost 16 pounds. 16 pounds is an enormous amount of weight. So I was happy. Then the third week rolled around and it hit. I didn't lose anything, not a single ounce of weight did I lose. So I was still stuck at 16 pounds, but I didn't give up because people had told me that this was a possibility. So I kept chugging right along, plugging in my numbers and staying under 20 carbs each day. And by week four, which is now my one month on keto, I lost um, in week four, five and a half pounds. So that brings my total to one month on keto to 21 and a half pounds. I recently just done a video and posted it and it tells all about the foods that we have been eating, me and my daughter, so that we have dropped uh, 48, 49 pounds now, I think, doing low carb and keto. So if you wanna see some of the foods we eat and those recipes, I'll go ahead and have that linked in the description box below and also in the cards above if you want to see. And let me just tell you that bacon cheeseburger in a bowl is absolutely amazing. We could eat it every day, so make sure you check out that video. 
So that is my one month keto intermittent fasting update. I will update you guys again on month two to see how the progress is going. I imagine it is going to slow down and I'll be losing about two pounds a week, which I'm satisfied with. An additional eight pounds in a couple of months, I'm gonna be at the weight that I wanna be at. I didn't have tons of weight to lose. I had about, you know, 40 pounds that I wanted to get rid of, so. 19 more to go and I think I'll be satisfied. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.